Hello, welcome to another Porter's Transformers review. Today, uh, I'm gonna try uh, this a little bit differently. Uh, hopefully, you guys will like this this one. Uh, this uh, format just a little bit better. Okay, now today we are going to be reviewing Transformers Generations Blur, as you can see here. Who I have already opened and everything, as you can see, uh, but I do. Uh, put these back here like this for uh, the review, the sake of the review. Uh, you can see him in packaging. He is in card mo mode with his uh, fantastic sniper rifle uh, right next to him there. And as you see, Blur, you know, Hasbro logo. Same things, you know, the artwork is up here. Up, well, up here on the top, and then the, the um, transformation level, 3, intermediate. I'm gonna flip them around and you see the backboard, which I will show off right now. Actually, I'm gonna take them out of the package. Um, that didn't happen. You guys did not see him just fall. Okay, good. He's good. He doesn't have any scratches. He just fell on the back bottom of the plastic here. So, here's this. Once you finish with these, you can throw them away. Uh, unlike me, because I move so much, I actually keep these to put the figures in when I move house. Uh, when I move to a different house. Because I'm going to be moving again, so I mean... Whatever. I, I, I do actually throw them away after a while. Just, for some reason, I just keep them. But here is Blur, here is his gun, and here is his backboard. And product shot for his uh, career. Curry. I can never say that word, uh, but it's basically something that uh, someone who uh, takes information from one place to another, uh, kind of like Hermes from uh, Greek mythology. I think it's Greek mythology, or it might be Roman. I think, I think they're both the same. I don't know. That doesn't have nothing to do with uh, Transformers. So, yeah, Blur, you know, robot mode, dual laser blasters. He has weapon store in his holsters. He has uh, blasters for him, rifle bipod, and then his sniper rifle. And here's his bio. Pause it right here if you want to read it. You can even read it there. Who's that? And then put it over there. Onto the figure. What you want to do is slowly. Get a bigger angle. Okay, here you go. Holding this by hand. Well, as you can see, uh, Blair is a nice uh, blue sports car. He does not have his Cybertronian mode anymore, more, which uh, I don't think he ever got an Earth mode. So it's nice to see Blair having an you know an actual Earth form car. Um, and I do really like it. I think it's a very a fresh take on an old character. I uh, although it is a remold of slash repaint of uh, Drift, as you can see, Generations Wave 1 Drift, who I'm just going to compare for robot mode and not vehicle mode, but you guys already know, you know, colors are different, so the only thing different is that he has swords and a, new he and a different head, and he has guns and a different head. Oh, and a spoiler on the back of the car, as you can see. And it's uh, recessed here, whereas... Uh, on Drift, you can see there's a, there's a big spoiler, and it's in two pieces because he's not transformed. But anyway, yeah, I really like it. Uh, he has, he does, his rims aren't painted, which I actually kind I like. Uh, I read that. Uh, uh, blah. I like on here. Um, and nice dark blue right here. And it goes all goes around, and then this is go on to the front. But uh, he has this uh this um light blue here, as you can see. It goes around and then there's this white stripe and the Autobot logo here. In the front, on the top. Pretty nice taillights painted. Headlights are like a, a dark, smoky kind of a blue. It's really cool. It's a sniper rifle. It's really cool, really detailed and everything. Uh, it does have a, a, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It does have a flip out, uh, 
little extra handle here for uh, so he uh, Blair can hold him hold it in uh, both hands. And as always, the the figure or the car mode is supposed to roll. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I did knock this sniper rifle on the floor. But anyway, uh, the sniper rifle, once you fold this uh, bipod down, as you can see, will uh, go where drift sword goes in uh, vehicle mode. And just, uh, you gotta plug it in here. Mine doesn't really, well, actually, yeah, it goes on that side for some reason. See, when you have the handle facing off to the left, it, it actually stays, and you can roll, as you can see. But, like, when I put it on the right, I don't think it rolls. Like, when I flip it over, yeah, and put it put it on the right, the, the yeah. I'm kind of doing this all upside down, sort of, because of the angle of which I'm standing. And you kind of can do it, but not my... A minute ago, yeah, this doesn't, this wants to not plug in there for some reason sometimes, but whatever. Uh, transform him is exactly like Drift. So, take your figure and you pop his doors open. Which mine are very tight, actually. Okay, and you want to slowly rotate the legs out. I find it's easy to pull the, like the feet up while you're doing it because they kind of do sit in there and they will lock it. And you just fold the feet out all the way. Fold the foot up and in. Up. In. There. I'll fold the windows into the holsters. Or are uh, they. That's the making use of the scabbards on drift. That's what you call them. And then you just take the arms and fold them out like that. Uh, split the hood apart. Fold the panels up. If you have drift like I do, as you can see, it's right here. Uh, this won't be all that hard for you. And then just plug his windshield in. And there you have Blur and Robot Mode. I'll take that. And as you can see, here's a close up of Robot Mode. Now I did transform him a little bit differently. I do uh, actually fold these down back. I don't really. I kind of do that with both of them, actually. I just like because then, like the uh, the uh, arm panels aren't, you know, so uh, and much in the way. And I'm gonna take drag. As you can see, since he's a repaint. He does look significantly different enough to be his own figure. You can see the comparison there. A lot different, actually, for being the same uh, mold and everything. I don't care because uh, this is actually a really nice repaint. I really like it. So, anyway, um, as I was, what you want to do now is look at these guns he's got here. And then I put the support little back there. Yeah. Oh, you take him, take your blur, and where the swords are and drift, there are guns. And you put them in his hand, and whatever, there's another one in here. You can put just like that, and then you can take them out and. Put the sniper rifle there, so he can snipe. But I usually don't let him snipe because he, you know, because Blur's so fast. 
He's actually one of the fastest, I think he's like the third fastest made up character in the world, so the fact that he can go over, he's actually faster than the Mach 5. So, uh, I, I kind of like him just having these pistols here, so he can uh, run around really fast and shoot really fast and then dove under cover really fast and basically just be really, really, really fast, just, you know, run around like, meow. Neo, 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 pew, 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 Neo, 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 wow. Like that. Anyway. Yeah, I, I really like this figure. I think it's a totally, uh, totally worth it. Uh, especially if you have, uh, some other figures from the 86 movie. It's just Hot Rod here. And it's Reveal the Shield Hot Rod that came in the Battle in Space 2 pack. As you can see, uh, clear, of course, is taller. For a size comparison, and then here is uh, Blair with his uh, wave mate, the uh, uh, Generations Dirge. He is a little bit taller, but uh, this is, Dirge was made from the Seeker mold, so everyone pretty much has at least one version of that mold. I have three, and I'm not done yet, so um, you get a kind of an idea of how tall uh, uh, Blair is if you don't have Drift to compare him to. Uh, you can see, there's a, there's a line, so he's, he's taller than them, but a little bit, a little, a little bit shorter than Drift, actually, but that's because Drift is standing funny. Oh, that's it for this review. Stay tuned in another review. Catch you guys later.